Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to zoom in on a clip within Adobe Premiere Pro. Uh, the version of Premiere that I'm using is the newest 2020 Premiere Pro CC, but this should work for future updates as well. All right, so in order to zoom in on a clip, as you can see here, I have a clip of a drone shot of some uh, island kind of tropic area here, and I want to zoom in. Now, if I want to do that, what I would want to do is select the video. Now, when you select a video on the timeline, make sure that it's only the video clip, not the audio, or else you're not going to get the options that you want. So if you need to, you can right click and then go to unlink if there's audio. Uh, but in the case of this video here, there is not. And then once you have that selected in your timeline, here, you're going to see something under effect controls. If you can't see effect controls, go to window and then go down to where you see effect controls that will bring that up on your workspace. And then once you're there, you're going to want to do a couple of things. Now, in order to zoom in or zoom out, there's a couple of ways of doing it. You could just select the clip, click on motion up here in the effects control panel under video. And then basically what you could do is you could zoom out and then take and drag the clip to zoom in or zoom out. Now remember when you do this, uh, if the video footage that you've captured uh, is not say 4K or above and you're exporting in 1080p, it's probably gonna be pixelated and it's also gonna be very blurry. So make sure that you're working with video that you can zoom into. Uh, I normally do this for tutorial videos and so for me it really doesn't matter. Uh, but in this case, it definitely does. So you can click and hold and drag, zoom, and then move the clip around where you want it. But the way that you normally would zoom into a clip is I'm gonna go ahead and fit the video here to my workspace, is go ahead and find on the timeline where you want the zoom to start. So as you can see, I'm dragging my playhead where I want the zoom in to start. So I want it to start right here. And then what I'll do is go back up to the effect controls. I'll go ahead and click the little stopwatch icon to the left of position, click that and then I will click the stopwatch to the left of scale. And what that does is that creates an individual keyframe here on the timeline. And then what I'll do is I will actually play the video out or I will drag the playhead here a little bit to the right. And then what I'll do is I'll insert another keyframe by these little dots here where it says add or remove keyframe uh, to the right of position and scale. Add one here and there for both position and scale. And now what I like to do is I like to then go up to motion select motion again, and then I will drag it where I want it to be here and zoom in and zoom out just like this and then drag it wherever I want it to be. And now if I go back and play this back from the start, you can see, boom, there is the zoom in right there. Obviously that's not a very slick transition, but you can play around with the position and scale to get it exactly like you want it within Adobe Premiere Pro. Uh, obviously if you wanted to, you could go up and whenever you add keyframes to start the zoom and then you go to where you want it, uh, and then you start kind of adjusting where you want it zoomed into, you can go to position and you can type in exact dimensions here. So if I know the actual you know, dimension of my video, so like right here, I know it's gonna be 2048 by 1080. Uh, if I go here, I can go ahead and recenter and, and get that back to where I want it by typing in 100 on the scale and then going and typing in my uh, starting point for position on both X and Y axis. Hopefully this helped you out. If it did help me out by sharing, liking, and subscribing for more great tech tutorials and tips just like this. And I will see you guys in the next video.